Ooh, Razor Sweelin with Hell or Hell, Hell or Hell, and Craziness. All right. Is this a two-pack stuffed into five minutes? Um, okay, let's check this out. Razor Sweelin, Hell or Hell, and Craziness. And thank you, Sammy, for this request. No, Ryan. Ryan's surprisingly tall. He's taller than me. What are you, six feet? But he is fit. <laughs> so that's how you say it. They have such a great dynamic between the... Okay, someone please remind me what the lead singer's name is. I used to know it, and my brain is, like, just useless. Um, but she has so much charisma. Rachel? I thought it... Is that her name? That's so close. But that's not it, is it, Rachel? Maybe... Well... I'm not going to trust my brain. Um, anyway, <laughs> she's just got such a powerful charisma to her when she's singing. She just grabs your attention, pulls you into the song. And then I love the bright, like, cheery, more uh, idol style, or I don't know, vocals that the other one does, where they have this call and response between, like, powerful and bright and cheery, you know? It's for, oh, Rachel, yes. That's why I was confused. I was like, no. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Dang. She has a cool charisma and stage presence. And Rosie, good to see you. Thanks for tuning in. How are you doing? All right. Was that the... Okay, is the keyboardist the one that was singing? That was some pretty sick piano playing. Um, Rosie, that would be amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Double cheese. <laughs> the, I, I didn't see the first message. Hey, hun bun, do you need a snacky? <laughs> Not for my friends. <laughs> that sounds so good. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, yes, I miss you too. All right. The, like, I talked about the vocals, but the composition is really cool too. One thing I wanted to mention earlier is before the vocals came in, there was this really cool synth lead that was like, would have sounded really cool as a guitar riff too, but... Just a uh, composition is cool in the song. Oh, she's playing. She's playing a little bit of a walking bass lick there while singing. That's cool. 
<laughs> the cameras could not handle all that craziness right there. That kind of sounded like won't get fooled again for a sec. <laughs> Oh, that's right. They have a keyboards and a DJ. This is such a... Okay, probably shouldn't pause it right before the beginning like that, or before the end. But they just have such a well-rounded, balanced um, amount of talent in the band. Like, everyone is killing it in their spots. Rachel's voice is amazing. Such a standout. And just the composition itself... It's one of those very re-listenable songs because I have no idea what the heck is going on, where the song's going, but it's so, still so catchy and engaging and fun to listen to. <laughs> Woo! That was so, so much energy, so much fun. The only thing about Rays of Sweden is it's annoying that they always have a giant ad on fr on the front of their video so you like can't get the full experience and pretend you're there but still worth it to listen to Also, I've got some exclusive live music and anime reactions over on my Patreon. I just finished reacting to Bochi the Rock, and now I'm starting Cowboy Bebop. I do exclusive live music reactions, and I've covered everyone from Bandmade, Baby Meta, Love Bites, Namafila, Gatrick Spin, that you can find only on my Patreon. And you can also make your own requests for videos I react to. So go check that out, and I'll talk to you next time.